The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, has vowed to wield the big stick against any developer or agency found culpable in cases of building collapse in Banana Island and other parts of the state. Governor Sonwolu, who led a delegation of government officials on the spot assessment of the incident, attributed the situation to the recklessness of some developers. Plus TV News correspondent Labi Kukoyedoko tells us more in this report. The Commissioner for Fiscal Planning and Urban Development, Tayo Bangbushi Martin, led the governor and others to the site of the collapsed seven-story building on First Avenue in Banana Island. It was a long and tiring four-hour inspection tour under the hot scorching sun. Before now, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of investigation that is going on right now, and you can see that they are still clearing the rubbles out of the site, and we've stop, we've given an order to stop work, not only at this site but in all of the construction sites in Banana. The team moved to other construction sites to ascertain their structural capacity. At 310 close, he ordered the demolition of two-story building constructed, mentioning that it was without an approval. Also, at 306 close, Governor Sawulu ordered the removal of a two-story building constructed under a power line. You've all seen the, the extent of um, what I would call an approved extension into the water. Um, at the back of, of each of the land that is abutting a water. Um, you can see that the, the original line for Banana Island is even not where we are. It's way in front there. And you can see that there's been several, several um, extensions that have been granted um, by both the Federal Ministry of Works, you know, Housing and NIWA. These are the two federal agencies that have been cooperative for those extensions. Um, they've done these extensions even without our knowledge. And we have responsibility for building approvals and rest of it. And from what I've been told, um, all of the four buildings at the back, uh, they never even applied for approvals. Uh, and it shows sometimes how irresponsible, you know, both um, developers, some of our citizens that just want to make quick money, and of course, our own officers who are also not alive to their responsibility. The governor disclosed that sanctions would be applied and those found culpable would be punished. Legality is, is real. And so that's why we're going around other properties in Banana. Um, the excuses have been given that you don't have access and rest it's not acceptable. This is a total recklessness of all of the developers. And we will make a strong point out of this place and all around Banana and other developments that we'll have. And the officers that we also found culpable will similarly be sanctioned, um, if any. On Sunday, another three-story building collapsed in a papa area of the state. This, however, signals one too many incidences of buildings collapsing in the commercial nerve center of the country. Love Ikuku Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.